Oh my god. What's up, guys? It's Cardi. Thank you for watching. Welcome to the first episode of Behind the Picture. This is a podcast for photographers by a photographer or for those photographers who are on their way to becoming the next Helmut Newton. Anyways, let's go over what the plan is for this podcast and what I am hoping to achieve. I made some notes. This is not a review podcast. There's tons of podcasts, YouTube channels that you can go to and learn about the blah, 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 this and the da, 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 that and the this, blah, blah, blah version this. And for me, this is a podcast. This is a show. This is a video. This is a series about photography and all the things that happen behind the picture, like from our mental state, how hard it is to be a photographer. We, we go through the highest highs and at times like the lowest lows. So for me, what's most important is to show you guys a little bit about the reality of it and humanize photography a little bit, you know, because really cameras don't take pictures. I swear to God, my camera just sits there in my bag. It does absolutely nothing without me. But a camera with an operator equals art. You know, the camera is just a tool. It's like if you had Picasso's paintbrush, are you making Picasso pictures? If you had, I don't know, Jimi Hendrix guitar, are you rocking out Voodoo Child? It's, uh, cameras are ugh, it's just a tool. Like, I mean, we need good ones and um, technology is super important, but it's a means to an end. The camera can't get in the way to what we're trying to do which is make great photography. Not only are we gonna go into photo breakdowns, like my own pictures, like behind the picture, hey, let's go back to the Pharrell location where I shot Pharrell, and let's talk about all the stuff behind that. Let's talk about what the mood was, what the vibe was, why we shot there, what happened, how I got the shots, what the shots looked like, and what it looked like in the magazine. Like there's an example of how I can break down past pictures and go behind the picture and tell you like what was in my head and how it went down. More importantly, I think I'd like to say critically important. I know the breakdown of my pictures. So what I'm really trying to do is help you get better at photography, whether it's a light thing or a technical thing or an exposure thing or a histogram thing, like whatever it is that you're stuck with, I'm trying to help you. And not just by, randomly making videos and sending them out there and hoping that they hit. But what I'm actually gonna be doing weekly is a live stream. And imagine, well, why would you do a live stream? Well, the reason that I'm gonna do a live stream, which is me essentially at my desk with camera on, talking to you directly, where you're able to chat with me directly and be like, hey, Steve, can you talk about light? And I can talk about light. Or you're like, hey, Steve, can you talk about I don't know why you chose to deliver this in black and white instead of color. I mean, whatever the question is, or hey, Cardi, can you look at this photograph and tell me, help me to make it better? Like, what should I have done? Or I saw this location, like, how should I shoot it? Like, any of those little niche technical things that I can help you with, I'm gonna help you in the live stream. Now, imagine that live stream is going to be part of the show. So some of it's going to be me talking to you and talking about, hey, this is, whoops, <laughs> this is what I did and this is how I did it and blah, blah, blah. But other parts of that show is going to be like, hey, you know what? This guy X or this girl Y um, sent this photo and I want to look at it and talk to you about what I think, why I think it's so great, why I think it's so magical or, oh my God, I think this is an eight out of 10, but if they had have just done this and this, it could have been an 11. You'll hear me say 11 out of 10 a lot. For us as pros or soon to be pros, good isn't good enough. As a pro now or soon to be pro, our good, other people are shooting that good with their iPhone. So our good now has to be great. So among people who are working photographers, our great is pretty much just good. So we have to aim even higher. We have to aim to a point of spectacular. 
Spectacular is the kind of photography that we're all trying to achieve. Spectacular is an 11 out of 10. Not a 10 out of 10, but an 11. And that's what we're looking for. And I'm trying to achieve them, and I'm trying to help you achieve 11 out of 10s. How am I gonna do that? With this back and forth dialogue that we're gonna create through this live stream. Sometimes photographers have an idea and they're having a hard time turning that idea into reality. So execution. I'm all about the idea and execution. I like to say, I don't take pictures, I make pictures. I want you to say that again. I don't take pictures, I make pictures, which is I have an idea and I'm going to execute that idea for a client or a client has an idea and I'm gonna execute that idea for them. Learning how to make pictures and not just wander the streets aimlessly and shooting this tree, this bird, that car, that flower. Like I call those nothing pictures. Like cool, you're exercising your right to expose shit on the sensor, but what we're really trying to do is do applied photography. Photography that we shoot that actually gets us work or has the potential to get us work. Applied photography, that's what we're trying to do. We're photographers here, right? So taking your questions is critical. For me, there's too many review channels, I'll say again. So the feedback back and forth, hey, not just like I put out a video, I'm gonna read the comments. Comment said, hey, you say like too much or comment say blah, blah, blah. Okay, the next video, I'll do that. No, it's a live thing. I'm back and forth with you and it's happening organically live and you're getting instant, honest reactions to the things that you share with me. It's an each one, teach one situation. We're both getting better. I've been shooting photographs for 30 years. I still feel like I'm new every time I look at the camera. That kind of inspiration and passion that you're kind of getting from me is the reason why, 30 years later, I'm still making photographs. You know, it's like passion is that thing, that like little bit of sticky that um, makes you memorable. Um, passion is that thing that you can take an idea over the edge just by being excited about it. And for me, this passion isn't manufactured. I just really like photography. What's most important about this whole thing with me helping you, it's not me helping you make photographs like me. It's me helping you make photographs like you. We all have a visual signature. We all have a way that we shoot. Imagine if you gave me a pen, I'm gonna write my name differently if I gave you a pen and say, write my name, it's gonna look different. How we see also has a signature. How we see through the camera has a signature. I call that our visual signature. Each one of us is trying to create a unique visual signature that we can apply to all of our subject matter. That's what separates us from the next photographer. There's nothing worse than imitating someone else's visual signature. You're basically stealing. So we're here to talk about how we can develop and hone our own style that we can be proud of, that looks like us, that other people can't imitate. Visual signature. So why me? I started taking photos when I was 14. My older brother, fine art painter, could make photorealistic photograph looking paintings with his eyes and his hands. For me, I couldn't do that. So I was looking for an outlet to express myself creatively. My dad bought a camera, got that camera, bought it for himself, but I, once I saw photos of mine coming out of that camera, I was hooked. Went to high school, high school, met my photography teacher. She saw that I had something and said, hey, you could be a photographer. So I really took it seriously from age 15, say. By the time I was 17, 18, I had seen Vogue magazine and I wanted to be a fashion photographer. Fast forward to going to Ryerson, studied still photography, fast forward my first studio at age 21, and I've been shooting professionally ever since. So why me? Um, I'm into it and enthusiastically trying to help you get better at photography. For me, I know this stuff already and I can do it in silence, but 
I believe in paying it forward. I have so many stories to share about how, who, people who have influenced me, people who have given me chances, all this stuff, which I guarantee you, you'll also have those stories if you're at the beginning of your career to be able to pass on to other photographers as you go on in your career. The whole thing about photography is there's enough for everybody. The whole thing about photography, whether you're trying to be a pro or shoot your own Instagram better or um, create content for a blog or whatever, it's like we can all be better. We can all be the best photographers that we can be. The whole point of us being uh, something that people can hire, us being a service, I guess I'll say, that people can hire, the whole service of photography, um, we have to be excellent. So let's be excellent. Um, let's make it so our value as content creators is more valuable than the DIYer trying to shoot that shit on their iPhone. Like let's us technically be better than the home user with their iPhone. Cool? Let's all raise up together. I'm here trying to help you. And I know in you guys sharing your amazing photography with me, it's gonna help me too. So I'm being selfish, but at the same time, I'm trying to give back. I'm not trying to be YouTube famous. I think the whole vibe of talking to camera is kind of stupid. But at the same point, it's like, I do it so often. I mentor so many people. I talk like this to so many young photographers. I need to record it. So this is what you're seeing right now. So how will it happen? Let's go through the detailed way as to how you, as the person who found this video, is going to have your photographs, video clips, website, Instagram, inspiration, looked at, critiqued by me, and talked about on the show. Number one, I'm going to be streaming on Twitch. Now, I'm choosing to stream on Twitch over other platforms for a reason. I mean, I could stream on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. There's a hundred different platforms. I mean, the big three, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. But there's a reason why I'm choosing to stream on Twitch and not those platforms. There's no filter on Twitch, meaning I can be myself on the stream. I can talk. If I feel like having a spliff, I can do that. It's Canada. It's legal here. Um, I'm in my house. I'm here talking about photography with passion. Like I can do the things that I feel like I'm allowed to do legally. And at the same point, it's like, it shouldn't be filtered if I feel like saying fuck to emphasize a point. So Twitch, I will be able to have a live dialogue back and forth where you can watch me on your Apple TV, on your phone, on your desktop, and you can interact with the chat and I'm going to be seeing the chat, monitoring the chat. You can send me pictures and I can be commenting on your pictures live while showing these pictures to the other people who are watching. So there's a value in this. There's a value in me using Twitch and not just hard copy recording, uploading it to YouTube and then reading the comments. There's a reason. It's gonna be organic. It's gonna be fun and insightful, and we're all gonna have a good time. You will hear it here first. Twitch, if you're not already on Twitch, Twitch is the next YouTube. Twitch is literally the next YouTube. My secret to you, Twitch is the future. So do yourself a favor, download the Twitch app right now on your phone. If you have Apple TV, download the Twitch app to your Apple TV, create an account, log in, just like you would with YouTube, and Look for Steve Cardi. You're gonna find zero videos, exactly zero, because I'm just starting this right now. And I have some tech I need to get in order to make this experience for you as good as I picture it to be. It's gonna be dope. So I want to not be premature in this delivery. So twitch.tv, if you don't wanna download the app, you can watch it on the browser, but that's where I'm gonna be streaming. And if you wanna interact with me, and send me photos, create an account so you can send me pictures, and that is how this thing that we're calling behind the picture is gonna be so great. Thanks for watching. Thanks for taking the time to honestly stop in here and look at this video, look at my face and my smiles and my enthusiasm. I appreciate you. Again, if you think that someone would benefit, photographer, from this, a young photographer, a student, 
pass on this link. Be like, yo, this guy's gonna about to go live and um, it helps me follow my socials. Um, I'm at Steve Cardi on Instagram. I'm at Steve Cardi pretty much everywhere. Twitter, at Steve Cardi, Steve Cardi photographer on Facebook, all that stuff. But really, Instagram is going to be the place where you're gonna find out the second I'm about to go live. Now, if you're following me on Twitch, you'll know that already because you'll get the alert, Steve Cardi is going live. And that's the time that you can log in and start the dialogue. Reach out, say hello, be like, hey Cardi, I'm a fan, or hey Cardi, I think you're garbage, or whatever the vibe is, reach out. And I mean, negativity, pfft, none of us need negativity in our life. So what I'd like is it to be a positive exchange. I'm here trying to help y'all be a better photographer. So again, thank you for watching. This resonated, like, subscribe, share, notifications on, blah, blah, blah. This has been Cardi, and this is Behind the Picture. Thanks for watching.